The last time I did much skating, these were new and Gerald Ford was in the White House. Up until today, I don't think I've ever even had on a pair of figure skates before. But in the spirit of the Olympics, I have been challenged to do a one minute figure skating program. Now I'm gonna do my best to be as little black and blue as possible by going black and white. White knee pads, black elbow pads. I don't ever know if I'll get to the level of my young friend Adam here who does all of this without pads. Kind of intimidating to be out here with uh, such a young possible future Olympian, but I'm gonna do what I can and Adam's gonna show me the way it should look in just a few weeks. What you should be able to do, you should be able to do a wall stunt like this. And maybe it's whole loop. And probably a two foot spin. Adam is able to make it look a lot easier than it really is. You've kind of seen me, you know. Fall. Yeah. <laughs> I do, I'm doing the best I can out here. What is the first thing you think I should um, practice on? What is the most important thing? Crossovers. Crossovers? Show Push it off me. your left foot. Push then, left. then cross it over. Yeah, almost like that, but you have to keep your right arm in front. Keep your right arm in front? Your other right arm. Oh. <laughs> okay. And now let's see my other right, that's this one. <laughs> <laughs> this right arm out there. Well, tomorrow okay. night will take you a week into the future, guys. And plus, you'll get to meet my incredible coach, Julia, originally from Latvia. And we're really very fortunate to have her here in Pennsylvania helping folks like me. Okay, that's, that's where we got to begin. Right, left. Right. It's right. just the basics here, sweetheart. Your okay. other right arm. Your other right arm. I love that. Adam, right there. That's right. Great you'll, job, Kurt. You'll see how things progress tomorrow. Easier than you think to have a family adventure on the slopes. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, and away we go. But if you've never been, you just can't go and jump on the lift. Remember, I've never been skiing before. Oh, I know that. Oh. Your first time right. skier. Um, you would want a first class package, which would include a lift lesson and rental. Zip myself up here. All right, yep. I'm ready for the winter adventure. Your first lesson is learning how to buckle your boots. Go ahead and slide right. your foot right in. We have to calculate how the release works on the bindings ah. upon your weight, your height, and your ability. Ability. Well, against your female nature, you really can't lie about your weight on this form because it'll affect your performance on the slope. <laughs> okay, now, assuming that you gave me your correct weight and height, we'll adjust them up. Now comes the real excitement. Okay, can you make that V shape, or that A shape? Uh huh. Okay, now teeny steps that way. Whoops! I try to focus on keeping things really upbeat and uh, a lot of encouragement. You know, things don't go right just right away, but if we praise effort as much as results, then the results yeah! come. That was fun! All right. I actually scooted really fast. Let's this is hopefully just going to okay. get us aware of where are the tails of our skis are and where the tips of our skis are. This is no kind of a tribal snow day. <laughs> the right instructor can help you make music on the slopes. Well, I play, I play percussion, and I play with the Baltimore Symphony and the Philadelphia Orchestra. So I play part-time with both of those orchestras, and I take my winters off, and I do work here actually full-time in the winter. So let's just take a little walk. We're on relatively flat ground, and we're just going to walk, just kind of like a cross-country thing. Rolling, rolling. Come on, you go. Yeah. Looks like he's doing better than I am, <laughs> which shouldn't be so surprising. The kids and the adults will learn very differently. Kids aren't worried about going to work the next day. In fact, they prefer not to go to school the next day. So they're going to rip, they're going to want to have fun, they're going to really go crazy. The adults are going to be a little bit more timid for, for the most part. And, and they're going to learn a little differently. They're going to be a little bit more head-oriented rather than body-oriented. So for that reason, it's a really good idea to split them up. After your basic training at the base of the hill, it's time for your ride up to the top. The chair is going to come and scoop you right up. All right. Okay. At the top of the hill, I met six-year-old Abby, who explained how she became such a good skier. Well, I practiced. If Abby can do it, so can I. This will give you a whole new appreciation. Oh, 
for snow. Sure, it may be a little scary. Uh, going down a steep hill, yes. After only about an hour on the slopes, Andre is on her own and heading downhill. <laughs> Any fear Jay may have had quickly became history. Uh, do you think it's possible that you can just go full speed down? Well, let's go full speed stop. when you get really, really good. And right now, let's make some turns to stay in control. You! Look at you! He did great. He did excellent. He was an excellent turner. Right from the get-go, he was an excellent turner. And when he started down the hill up there, he wanted to learn to stop. He wanted to practice that, so he was a safe skier, and, and he was easy to teach. That was wonderful. What a sensation. I mean, thought just to ski, but then to see him enjoying it, too, it really adds to it. Oh, it's fantastic. It's great when you can do it together and, and watch. It's like watching first steps all over again. Can we do it again? I'm ready for the next level. <laughs> this slope is snow park. A little steeper. It's a great sense of freedom. You're flying down these slopes, and I think that the white snow and the gray sky sort of allows you to sort of become all one. It was much easier than I expected, but I give full credit to the instructors. I just think this is an overall great experience. Yep. I really, and, I and, and it was a milestone that I got to achieve with my son. I think that was yep, I love a great it. aspect of it. I all. love it so much. <laughs> And after you learn to ski, you can always try snowboarding. Got my weight over the board. I'm gonna fall sometimes. Huh? Oh yeah. Well, it's a learning process. And it, indeed it is. Now, if you're thinking out to the, heading out to the slopes, be sure to check ahead. Now, we have a ski report for you Thursday through Saturday, right before the weather cast here on Fox 45. And, of course, you can also check local resorts' websites. We've linked the uh, site for Whitetail. That's where we went to our website at foxbaltimore.com. Just click on the sightseeing section, and there you can find the link. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Wouldn't you know it, try weather all summer. I get a chance to live out a fantasy and pretend I'm a pro ball player and what happens? The field is too wet. While I didn't get a chance to play in Frederick, the league did let me take the field in Westminster. Not quite the ambiance of a pro ball park, but still. Ah! Yes! It's not like my normal day at the office. You did good. You think I we, got a chance? Yes, you can sign you up. You think I can play for high school? You can play for us. Even a chance to get to the plate and all of a sudden it was like I was 14 again. Ah! <laughs> I'll, I'll play until, uh, as long as this body lets me play. He'll probably play at least another 30 years. From the first buds of spring until all the leaves are gone, the game goes on. Boyhood may be a memory, but for a few hours each week, the boy that is in every man gets to play again. If he can, he'll play till he's 60, if not longer. Nice try, Don! Finley, he's the mascot for the Camden River Sharks. And you know, the amazing thing was they actually, they let me out on the field today. Can you believe that? Now, look at this. Michigan J. Frog and Finley, they've become close this summer. They've made some appearances together. I had the honor, along with my son there, Zane, they let me throw the first pitch of the ball game. Zane wanted to do it. We're going to wait for next year for him, though. And look at this. Oh! So it's great to be out there, part of our Sunday Sunday program with the River Sharks. We're all kids at the end of the game get an ice cream sundae just for going to the ball game. Great time out there with the River Sharks. A great family experience. Nice right, pitch. Now for a look at the nation's weather. A lot of cold temperatures cool. hitting the area. Yeah. That's right. Cool and cold temperatures, at least for the eastern two-thirds of the nation. As cold as 8 degrees this morning in northern Minnesota, northeastern Iowa, 19 degrees for a new record. Generally, October is thought of as Quiet weather and outside of those cold temperatures, pretty quiet. Let's show you what I mean with the CNN radar. You can take a look at the uh, Great Lakes state. 70% chance of snow tonight for Cleveland. Ow! <laughs> I've got such a grip on my. Ow! Let go of my. Ow! Kylie. Ow. Kylie, is it gonna rain? <laughs> is it gonna rain? She was. I guess she was a days fan and just disappointed <laughs> about the. No, it's not gonna. That's it, I'm leaving. We'll have a forecast with or without her when we come back. We'll see you tomorrow. WB17, a Tribune broadcasting station. Three, two, one. Bye. Our Kirk Clyatt.